Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. I'll be brief. Um, I, I, you know, I hate getting up here, especially early in the morning, and opposing pieces of legislation, especially pieces of legislation put forth by good friends like Mr. Fine. Unfortunately, I have to do that today. I do, however, stand up numerous times throughout the session in support of legislation that preempts local governments. Why do I do that? Because what I want to try to avoid, and Florida businesses want to try to avoid, are these patchwork quilt-style systems across the state. Unfortunately, what this bill does is creates a patchwork quilt-style system across the state because it blows up the current system and the current free system of FloridaPolitics.com where a contractor can go to, small contractors can go to, to find potential jobs to bid and breaks it apart to all these local municipalities across the state. Currently, according to the 2017 census, that is 1,712. That's a heck of a lot of websites for these small contractors to go out and look for projects to bid. And I'll make another quick point which was brought up on storage units. Storage units are something that many small businesses utilize to store their equipment, to store their business things. If something happens, Happens. Like, for an example, I'm a big hunter. Unfortunately, my wife, who's sitting in the back of the room, will only allow two deer heads on my wall at the same time. <laughs> Thus, I had to go get a storage unit for all of my other deer heads. If I walk out and get run over by a plaintiff's um, sponsored bus on the way out of here, which if I do that, <laughs> please investigate it. Um, please investigate it. But if I do, unfortunately, there is no way my wife is going to know that I have a foreclosed storage unit. But I can assure you, my dad, who gets up every single morning, reads the Tallahassee Democrat, and drinks his coffee, will notice that I hadn't paid my storage unit and will go down and get my, my stuff. And that is true to me, for me, and also many numerous small businesses across the state. So unfortunately, I do have to oppose this piece of legislation and ask for your vote against it. Thank you.